I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with all the latest content. Salute to every single one of you subscribers, the people who watch this content, whether religiously or in passing, like I always say. RiceGang.myshopify.com. Log on for the merchandise. We have a special edition, special edition, you know what I'm saying, Rice Gang Jordan Joint. It's probably going to be about 23 or so of these going out. That's about it. Uh, limited edition. If you want it, get it. Because uh, when it's gone, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I got on with these, you know, I had to, I brought out the ones for this. You know what I'm saying? I brought out the ones for this. You know, and I got a couple things I want to talk about. But uh, we put them back on. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I brought them out for this one. So, um, a lot of y'all, you know, y'all be wondering. Where's all the content? Y'all be wanting videos like three, four, five videos a day, but try not to force it. You know what I'm saying? We get the drip. We try not to force it. You know what I mean? But um, I want to talk about a couple things in this joint right here. Hollow the Don is battling next week. Well, tomorrow, Hollow the Don has a battle tomorrow. I will talk about that. Um, we're going to talk about Kayshawn versus New Jersey Twerk. Um, and I want to talk about some couple of other things. You know what I'm saying? Take this walk with me. Um, first and foremost, uh, Chef Trez versus Heavy Half came out on a social distancing joint with Red Breed. Heavy Half got kind of busy. Did y'all see that? Did y'all? Heavy Half, I got a question. I do, I do have a question. When, when you start rapping like that? I watched battles from Heavy Half before. I don't know who this person was, but he was bugging. I don't know who this person was in the social distancing, but he, he definitely was bugging in his rounds. Probably the best Heavy Half I ever heard. Uh, Chef Trez did his thing too, but Heavy Half just got a little crazy in that joint, you know what I mean? Um, he, he definitely had some bars that stuck with me. Uh, K Shine is battling against New Jersey Twerk in an um, IG battle, Instagram live battle, you know what I'm saying? The details will be on the Instagrams and all of that. Uh, check this out. Shine, call! I would've did holographic! See this white coat? It's gonna be a doctor wearing it. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, they're gonna be battling. They're in the same crew now. NWX, New Jersey Twerk, and K Shine. But um, you know, Shine is is a very, very, very tough competitor. He doesn't really take plays off. Uh, if you want to see that battle, they got the directions on how you can see it, what the cost is, and things like that. Uh. I think uh, in this one, I, I'm gonna, if I give it to anybody, I'm gonna give it to Shine. Uh, Shine is damn near always prepared. Yeah, he's, he never takes no games off, you know what I'm saying? He always is gonna bring his A game. So even in this scenario, I, I think that uh, he will definitely be prepared. Twerk obviously has powerful moments. He does his thing, but you know the ups and downs. I don't really care to um, get into all of that today. But um, they're putting on during social distancing, it's quarantine. This is not going to change. It's probably going to be this way for the rest of the year. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's going to probably be this way for the rest of the year as far as like big events, big stages, and stuff like that. We're probably not going to see no shit like that for a while. Um, so you got K Shine and Twerk putting together their own battle, one on one. Um, I think from what I saw, they said. 10 minutes they get, uh, it's probably going to be a one rounder, but they're probably going to get 10 minutes a piece, whether that be grace period, whatever the case may be. That's a long time to bar somebody's life away. A 10 minute round, um, that that's going to be crazy. Um, in other nudes, Kayshawn, I seen him um, with Rex. Salute to Battle Thon Zaya, you know what I'm saying? He does his thing. Uh, he was running around with Rex, who got up with K Shine. And you know what I've been thinking? Wow, a lot of people have been talking about 
the, 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 the downward spiral of Rex, a lot of us never thought or did not mention, I don't know if anybody has mentioned it. I haven't mentioned it. Um, this, a lot of this started when he separated from K-Shine. He wasn't really doing this, like, when he was running with Shine like that. Like, he might have had battles where he wasn't the greatest, but he never got to this point when he was running with Shine, is what I'm saying. He never got to this point right here. And um, if they're even running around together, I mean, they don't have to be on the same team no more, whatever the case may be, because obviously they battle. But if Shine is even on a hospitable basis with Rex again, you would hope that we could get some of what we know. Because I'm still a Rex fan, but I mean, I got to keep it a thou while, and if he does not do good in a battle, I'm going to say it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still, I will never not be a fan of Rex in some regard, you know what I'm saying? So, um, just seeing the two of them moving around, if you if you from that cloth, if you from that era, you know that, that that's a good look. Um, obviously, K-Shine is a top-tier competitor. He's at the top of his game right now. And um, next, he's got Pat Stay. I heard Pat Stay say that in a live stream with Shaq the other day, that he's got Pat Stay next. I think we kind of already knew that he had Pat Stay next. Um, that's a dangerous, dangerous matchup for K-Shine. Um, Pat Stay is just one of those guys that, I mean, he, he, you be cooking dudes slow, the bullets shoot slow, and you're a five foot gangster. Look at you go. Like, he, he don't, he's unflappable, you know what I'm saying? So, that's gonna be one that Shine is gonna definitely have to pack his lunch for because uh, if he's battling Pat Stay, especially on a big stage, Pat Stay gets his love. And he can control the room. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, then you got Hollow to Don. Um, he's running IG Battle League, where it's a battle league where um, a lot of newer cats, they battle against each other on Instagram. They send videos in the IG Battle League. They get uploaded and people vote. I've done promo videos for them. You know what I'm saying? Free of charge. This is just like a get back, give back to the culture kind of thing. Uh, they reached out, you know what I'm saying, they wanted, like, I did a couple for the for the last one where the two guys battled for the winner of the tournament, and now the winner of the tournament, Zeta Dropout, is actually going to battle against Hollow to Don. Don and King all with limited prep, and now they waiting on this, like a stimulus check, you wildin' fam, you ain't even that kind of man, if you really belt that, and you want to try these hands, it's Juice World. You gon' die before you land, I go ham. Just in case you hear me wrong, two arms up like I'm charging up a spirit bomb. I go off in your direction. What this bitch gon' do? It's the 2016 election. This bitch gon' lose, it's gutter shit. Yeah, let me, some can spit, but it's a Marvel movie. After the credits, you get another clip. Headshot, spin him like a Ryu kick. He in his coffin from the jump like Tails from the Crypt, so don't lie. Epstein, we know you gon' die. Two hands on the grip like it's morphin' time. Don't try. Tick tock, quick clip for the gunners, big shit. Bitch kick like Stone Cold for the stunner. If it's war, then I'm there. A one-man team. Find this bitch with the semi like Prince Akeem, and I'll whoop your ass. I do not need this, but this my victory lap, like... Rest in peace, Nick. Tomorrow, uh, good luck. Hollow Don is no walk in the park. But see, the dropout is actually pretty good. I've seen a couple of his uh, Instagram live battles, and these guys have got talent. And one thing I will say about the artist, you got to respect the fact that they're giving their platforms to newer artists. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of guys, once they get up there, they don't want to share their platforms with people that are, you know, subsidiary talent. But uh, I've seen a lot of people. I've seen Surf. He's doing a versus tournament where people are battling back and forth. Uh, now you got Hollow to Don. He did uh, the Instagram live. I mean, the IG Battle League. Salute to I IG Battle League. Uh, they've been promoting a lot of newer talent. And, you know, New Jer even New Jersey Twerk. He was battling against um, a lot of unknown artists. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he had a couple issues here and there. But when you book... A battle, three battles a day, four battles a day. It's only shit's gonna happen. You can't book three niggas a day, back to back to back to back to back, and make everything happen. Like it just life just doesn't work like that. Um, I really and sincerely hope that y'all are doing good during this time frame. Uh, I know it's difficult. Some people have lost jobs. Some people, you know, have lost family members. Some people have even got 
Corona themselves, you know. So I mean, we just had a battle rap on We Go Hard, J.O., Loud Pack J.O. He battled uh, against Dougie. He had a bunch of other battles too. And um, he just passed away from coronavirus. So God bless him, his soul, and his family. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really a serious thing. And we see things like the beaches in Jacksonville open back up. I'm trying to wonder, how is it that the beach can open back up, but nothing else is open? So what is safe about the beach that isn't safe about everywhere else? <sighs> Things that make you make you wonder, like how is one part of the, the, the state safe and everywhere else isn't? I will say this, that even as states start to open back up, be smart. Don't fall for the, for the smoke and mirrors, you know what I'm saying? Stay, be smart and be safe because it's looking like now that since the economy is taking such a big hit and the desire to open up and get people back out there, that's going before the cure or actually what can actually end this or help people out. It's just like, let's just get it back out there. And what is that going to do? Lead to more funerals, more people in the hospital and more people catching the coronavirus. So I would say take your time, even um, while all of this is going on. But like I said, you got... Holler Donnie's taking on pretty much an unknown guy, Zeta Dropout, who's actually pretty good. Uh, Zeta Dropout, I respect it, but I got to go with Holler that did it and on in this one. Uh, it's good to see Rex and Shine back together. The latest and greatest in 40 Cal news. I'm just throwing it all in here, you know what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to do all inclusive. We're throwing everything in here that I've seen or that I've heard or whatever the case may be. So we ain't got to do four or five blogs at one time. Put the J's up, you know what I'm saying? Um... Latest in 40 Cal news, he's still talking and shit. Uh, him and Official was going back and forth, and he was like, uh, he wanted to battle Official and like with 40 bars, him and 40 bars versus Official and whoever she wanted. Uh, it could have been a member of NWX or whatever the case may be. Listen, like I say in the other joints, you might not like 40 Cal, but 40 Cal is doing what he's supposed to be doing in regards to battle rap. He even said he wants to make oatmeal gay. Look now, we not we not even doing all that, B. We not we not we ain't about to do all that. You not talk to me nicely. We not about to do all that. This is my fun face. But salute to 40 Cal and everything that he's doing. Uh, he had to battle with Cortez, and I know some people gave it to Cortez, some people gave it to Cal. But with the technicality, Cal Cal's material came out on the league it was supposed to. Cortez got told can't go across the street. Go back over there. Go find that man. Don't come back until you find that man. You want on paperwork, and next time you 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 step outside, it's not gonna happen. A lot of people have expressed, including myself, that artists that have been in his game as long as him should not be on no fucking paperwork. But that's just it is what it is. Leaks can do what they want. Uh, ARP dropped a blog earlier today. Salute to ARP and everything that he's got going on. Talking about a lot of the things, the positives and negatives that come along with this whole COVID situation. I think it's more about adapting and overcoming because it's never going to be easy. Like when you deal with situations like this where people are forced to change their situational norms. And let me know, I don't want to get too deep with you. you know what I'm saying I, I definitely do not want to get too deep with you. Um, when you have to use deductive reasoning to try to take away things that you're normally used to dealing with and being put inside of a situation like we are right now. I think that we have to um, intellectualize the fact that we as people are so used to having things the way we wanted them. We were so used to being able to go outside, go to restaurants, be able to eat, all of the stuff that we miss, parties, planes, flights, and when we're taking that away, how are you able I'm not to sure sustain? I understand. I'm not, I'm not sure I understand either, but um, how are you able to still get around it, maintain, and run businesses? And, um, and be able to stay profitable. Now, even with what I do, me and my man Showtime SP, I only bring them by a couple times a week now because, you know, the whole social distancing, they, like, it is real. You never know who someone else may interact. He don't know who I may interact, you know what I'm saying? He's got a young child at home, so for us to be around each other while we're out in the world uh, multiple times a week, it's a mitigated risk for either of us, you know what I'm saying? And um, so I, I, even though, I'd like him by all the time and we could do all of this freaking content with the game being slow. It's like, you know what? 
enjoy that time with your family. Because a lot of people, um, they never really got this kind of time at home with their family. Like people are doing all kind of things, spending time with their family. I got to clean up my whole crib. I got to fold all of the clothes. You know how sometimes you just be, you do laundry, the laundry gets stacked up and bagged up and you just got laundry. I forgot to fold all my clothes. I got to paint. I got to do mad stuff during this time. So what I will say is this time for me personally has been amazing. Even with still moving product, merchandise, um, people are still copying the merchandise and things like that. And I thank them for that. But I only am able to go to the post office once a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to the post office every day. I'm not about to risk my life for this shit. I'm not. I can't put my life out there three, four days a week. So if you order, we deal with the orders during the week. We go to the post office one time every week. And that's the only time that we're going to do that. But uh, salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, I will always salute y'all. Uh, 21 million views. Uh, 20, 50,000 subscribers. Um, salute to my boy Showtime SP, my brother Showtime SP, you know what I'm saying? And um, I got these on tonight, you know what I'm saying? I'm rocking my um, Jordan 1s. What are y'all rocking tonight? Um, make sure that y'all ladies, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wives, y'all girlfriends, y'all side bitches, all that, all that, all that. Give y'all a little space today, you know what I'm saying? We ain't had no sports in months. We ain't had no sports in months, my nigga. Months on months. This shit is hard right now. The playoffs was supposed to be starting. I'm a Brooklyn Nets nigga myself, but the playoffs were supposed to be starting. We not, we not even about to get no playoffs, my G's. So, make sure they give y'all that space. Let y'all enjoy the last dance. And what I will say is this. Growing up, you know what I'm saying? If you wasn't a Jordan fan or you wasn't a Bulls fan, he smoked your team. If you grew up in them 90s, you know what I'm saying? Like, born in them 80s, grew up in them 90s, Jordan washed your team. It ain't no way around it. It don't matter. He got six of them things, and if you, if you, whoever you rooted for, got their ass whooped along the way. I think I hope somebody that I hope they give some respect and a lot of admiration to. I was thinking about this this morning. Was Dennis Rodman? I really hope Dennis Rodman gets the credit and love that he deserves because without Dennis Rodman, I don't know if all them championships. I know for a fact all them last championships wouldn't have happened. You know what I'm saying? Because Dennis Rodman used to get mad busy, and he was the nigga that was doing all the dirty work. I'm talking about all the dirty work. He used to be fighting with Karl Malone. He used to go at it with everybody, you know what I'm saying? I think that uh, he should definitely get the love that he deserves, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, the 96, 96, 90, that, that 3P, oh, that was all Rodman, you know what I'm saying? When they beat Utah, Rodman was in there going crazy. You know what I'm saying? When they beat, uh, the Seattle Supersonics, Rodman was in there going crazy. Rodman was, yo, Rodman was like the last nigga I ever seen, dog, to average like 15, 18, 19, 20 rebounds a game. And I'm talking about like, he was doing that shit when, 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 when rebounding, when nobody wasn't rebounding, no 15, 19, 28. He would have like 28 rebounds and two points. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this shit crazy, though. I was just looking at the, um, some of the player statistics, man, and, and Rodman used to go fucking crazy, man. Like he 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 was a, he was a wild one, man. He was definitely a wild one. Um, but you know, we'll be watching that tonight. But salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Uh, I'm glad that you guys were able to tune into this. Let me get on about my day, and we out of here. Oh yeah, this hoodie, limited edition, Rice Gang. This is the first one with the slanted Rice Gang on it too. It'll never be another one. Gone. Uh, I'm different and embrace it Jewels with flashing lights from the cameras make it epic uh, Metal bending as I swerve from my lair Let the champagne rain from the valor in my ethic uh, Panoramic views on the coast All my life I was told that I never should expect it uh, She can't fathom everything I keep within If I murder with the pen my conversation need protection 